my name is Gloria and I'm a practicing lawyer and in this channel two times a week I share one video to help people who are studying for the bar exam or any other difficult exam to prepare and another video to share personal development for lawyers who are in practice that will help them improve themselves and develop in their career. In today's video we'll be talking about the three study methods that helped me pass the bar exam in one go. These are my top three study methods that I would never not replace no matter what. The first one is spaced repetition mind maps. These were so key in me passing the exam. At the time, I was looking for something that would allow me to consolidate a lot of information in a small amount of time. The bar exam is like a consolidation of everything we learned in four years of our undergraduate degree cramped up into one year, right? So it makes, it's a lot of content, it's a lot of volume to learn in a short amount of time. So you need like a method to consolidate all this information. And for me, that was so difficult. I found it so difficult to focus. I don't know if it's TikTok or the generation I was born in, but it is so hard for me to focus sometimes. But I, I needed a way that I could study that was fun and that could help me to memorize a large amount of information. Law is about memorizing, law exams especially, memorizing a large amount of information, cases. So I was like, what do I do? And then I read a book about Leonardo da Vinci, who was a genius, and he used to use mind maps. But I combined it with a scientifically proven method of studying I mean, active recall mind maps. So active recall mind maps are to you take your book you're studying, right? So you read the passage that you're studying the topic, Read all of it, and then when you're done, instead of putting the book away like most people do, what you're going to do is, after you've put the book away, start drawing your mind map. Put the topic at the center of the page, circle it, or draw a picture if you're creative, and then draw a line. Let me just demonstrate because why not? So, I hope you can see that. You're learning about legal uh, applications. And you put it in the center and draw a circle. And then the next thing is you're going to write one word topics, like anything that comes to mind relating to that topic. So, for example, notice of motion. Oh, I'm a rebel. I said one word, but I sometimes do three words. You know, a notice could be the word, right? And then under notice of motion, you could be like supporting a fidavit. If you're a lawyer, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and you can do here, maybe court. And you could do here, chamber summons. So anything relating to that topic, you'll, you will, or you write here chamber, right? Instead of putting two words, up to three words is fine. And then from that, you'll continue with the lines from supporting. Maybe you'll just write something else and you'll write something else. And then you'll dump all the information you've gotten about that topic when you studied. When that session is up, you're going to note which things you forgot about. Just peruse through the thing again and notice what you forgot about and put an asterisk on that. Next time, you will start with that topic in your next study session. It's mind-blowing. You can start to make connections between topics, start to understand more concepts, start to hold more information, and it's fun. When you're drawing those things, it's combining the logical side and the creative side of your brain. It's magic. The second thing, the second study method that I used, that I swear by, is timetable based repetition. What you do here is you take your subjects you're studying and then you arrange them on your timetable with the most difficult ones for you having the most frequency, frequency of repetition, right? So every day I would study two different subjects. Um, and then a third one, I would do up the practical side, the practice side of drafting pleadings. So what you do is you set it up so that when you do a topic, right, you, it's in your timetable, you'll have to go back to it because you're using your course outline, right? So on your course outline, you'll be using a check mark to check which, which topic you studied that week. So after you check mark it, you're going to use a different colored pen every time you study it again. So the goal is to study it three or more times, but if it's more difficult, you're going to do it even four or five times, going back and doing it. And when you're going back, what are you doing? 
you're reading it, you're drawing the mind map, and you're memorizing those things. And then the last thing that I used a study method was flashcards. The flashcards were well, for those things that have refused to enter my brain no matter what I've tried. I've tried singing out loud, I've tried jumping up and down to remember it, and I still can't remember it. Then I'll put it in my Anki flashcards and review my flashcards every day. So I would have about 30 minutes or so to review those flashcards. Those are especially for cases. Some cases, those names are complicated, I can't remember them. <laughs> I would use Anki flashcards. And I used other things like mnemonics, whatever, in combination with my flashcards. Studying is a very highly personal thing. You may not be able to use the study methods I used, like the Pomodoro method. I've not even mentioned it yet, but the Pomodoro was also vital for me because you have a different personality type than I do. So I offer a one on one call with me, check in the description, where we'll look at your personality type and then gauge which study method will work for you. If you're more practical and uh, spontaneous and you don't like lists and to-do lists and structure, we can cater a study method that would work best for you, which is utilizing small pockets of time to study rather than having a very structured, very detailed uh, time uh, management system. Would use small pockets of time and shorter times to study rather than if you're more organized and like planning, we can do a more detailed plan and a more structured, more Pomodoro type of study than the freestyle type. I hope you have a good week ahead of you. Love you. Bye.